That's all of them. You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. Anything for Freya? Whatever you need, I'll create. What'll it be? Have we more to talk about? This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. Whoa! 
More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Let's say it's coming fire! did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. <laughs> Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. to get rid of those things. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful.
in our own minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> Seems he was guarding that way outside. Hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. <laughs> Smartest man alive! <laughs> well, certainly clinks like genuine Hacksilver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Keep on! 
Another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <laughs> that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you? Babbling. Official. My boy. Feel everything. Walter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Wait! Walter, come back! Talk to me! Tried to stop him any way I could. You served Odin from the day you left to the day he put you in that tree. You sought a favor. You plotted his war. You watched him mistreat everyone and everything. And you never gave a damn until he turned on you. I know, Seeker. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace, an ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To Groa? Or to Tanya? No! You only took the side of the powerful men! You! Lover, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a friend has got in need and you can't help but aid him and call him Groa! It's who you are! Oh, 
It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the fiend! It's pulling me in! Come here! Brother, help me! The monster! Atreus! I am coming! Pass the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. Yeah! 